Don't you think that people really dream? I mean, any band that gets on a stage dreams in some way of being as big as the Beatles? I mean, Yeah, I would think you know? they do. Sure. I mean, if you're going to do it for, you know, if you're going to do it for... If you are going to do it for nothing, there's no reason to really go out and do it. You might as well just do it for yourself and keep it to yourself. Um, I don't think there's any reason to sort of go out there and do it and then claim, you know, you never wanted to make it or you never wanted to be successful. I don't believe bands to say that, you know, art for art's sake or whatever, art for two people. It's not really art, you know, what or, about or music. Do you keep your private life very private? I mean, I can't ever recall seeing a photo of you and your wife, you know, grinning at some yeah, right. party or something. Yeah, I do. Is that important it's to you It's the way both? they want it, and it's the way yeah. I want it. Yeah, because, you know, you get bothered. You really do. Uh, to a point that a lot of people would never understand. Um, you know, I don't really want also them to have to... You know, they shouldn't have to be subjected to the unreal, you know, world of rock and roll success, that kind of thing. You know, especially my kid, period, kids. Kids? I just had another one oh. four months ago. Um, Girl or a boy? A boy. So you have two boys? Yeah. Well, has your you know, they get bothered at school and, you know, I just Yeah, I was just going to say, does, I mean, does he go to school? Your older son, does he go yeah, to school he goes in to Boston? School. Do they know that he's the son of... Oh, I'm sure. Does he come see you play? I mean, yeah. Does, well, what yeah. does he think? Sometimes he goes on tour. Uh, well, he's totally involved. He loves it. <laughs> he's finding other bands he likes better. <laughs> oh, really? Who are they? Which ones? Well, Devo and... <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, he, Joan Jett, in fact. <laughs> Is his favorite this week. Really? Yeah, I would imagine um, a little kid would like that. <laughs> yeah, so anyway, you know, and and they don't, uh, I don't know, it's just better. I'd rather, uh, I don't talk much about it really, in interviews or anything. Yeah. Do you pay any attention to the press? Does it ever get to you? Was there a time when it did? In the beginning, uh, when it was all relatively positive. Um, I, I thought to myself, well, this is, this is pretty good. Uh, I wonder if I should, you know, believe this or not. You know, it sort of makes you maybe bigger than you feel. You do know, however, I mean, there are people who claim that they never, ever look at this stuff. Well, really, it's just, I mean, they not, it's not true. They're completely paranoid and yeah. read everything. And I'm not too, because I really feel like, uh, look, you know, I don't think anybody knows the work that I do better than I do. No one knows uh, how much I put into it or what I really felt or what I was really saying or if I was saying it seriously or unseriously. Or uh, I know how much I do, and I, if I feel good about it when it's finished, then I feel like that's good enough. And if people don't like it or people do, I mean, if people don't like it, then it's really their option, you know. I don't have to, I'm not trying to win them all, you know, at all. Uh, I do, you know, I mean, I I listen to a lot of music, and I know what's around, and I know what people can do, and I meet people. And uh, just from, like, you know, overseeing the whole situation, you know, I feel pretty good about what I do, and I'm not too, uh, you know, concerned about it, if you know what I mean. Yeah, no, I know what you mean. It's like if I read, a, you know, 100 books and wrote one, and I thought it was better. You know, why should I think it's not, you know, or at least not better, or just at least as valid, or as good, you know? I read something that you said that you didn't consider yourself a musician. Is that true? Yeah, in a way. What do you think you are? Uh, well, you... Are you I mean, I don't know, musician to me always sounds like a uh, link with virtuosity or, you know, musical training or, you know, knowing exactly what you're doing. 
I don't have any musical training. Um, I play other instruments, mostly by ear. Um, and I don't like, I don't really like musicians. You know, musician type people. Do you think there are a lot of them in rock and roll? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, I mean, when you hear the 30 minute solos, yeah. I mean, people still do that. You know, I just think it's a, it's really a, a matter of style. I don't know if you have to be so uh, so much a musician as a stylist. You know, it's one thing to know every scale that you can imagine. It's another to know, you know, how to play in a way that it sounds unlike somebody else. I think people that develop their own musical style from like you know I think you could develop your own style by being locked away in a closet for 10 years you know or you can or you can like you know read the music and you know read the charts and and you know learn the techniques that you've been taught or you can stumble through and fail and screw up and learn it your own way I think uh, when you learn it your own way you'd basically come out comes out more unique I've always been very I'm I'm pretty happy about not knowing how to read a note of music uh, I would never want that interference you know I my options are only what I can go for and not what it, you know I should or should not be able to go for were you lonely as a kid I mean did you hide away uh, no I was I didn't hide away I had a certain you know, for a few friends who I uh, basically got in trouble with, and I was pretty much uh, out of my house mentally at the age of about 14. <laughs> I was didn't have much communication with my parents nor uh, sister. Um, I was I was pretty much in my own world, I guess, but it didn't feel like one that was unreal. But I did go after uh, things that were absurd in my, you know, I did go for the crazy things. I did try all the things that I thought were pretty crazy. And I did try to manipulate myself into scenes that were uh, considered crazy. To me, the songs that were on the first album, you know, mm -hmm. whether it's Just What I Needed or Best Friends Girl, or even Let the Good Times Roll, you mm -hmm. know, I kept listening to that a lot lately. I mean, that still sounds fresh, Yeah. I think, you know, and um, I think it sounds in many ways as weird, if you want to use that word, mm -hmm. as a lot of the new stuff that's being made now. Why do you think that that made it? when it did. You know, I mean, yeah. if you talk about some of the bands that put out stuff in the mid-70s or even the early 70s, I mean, I always thought, for example, Roxy Music's Virginia Plain or, mm -hmm. uh, uh, I don't know, uh, pick any one of them. Yeah. You know, to me, they sounded like hits, and uh -huh. they weren't. They didn't make it. Right. People thought it was too weird. That not, they couldn't get arrested here. Mm -hmm. Or, you know, Bowie's Heroes, stuff, stuff like that. Yeah. Some of the stuff on your album sounds as avant-garde. Is yeah. that why the cars? Uh, you know, I don't know. I personally don't know. I never tried to analyze it, first of all. Uh, maybe it's a good record, well thought out and interesting and was happy with the record, but I had zero idea what would happen with it. It was a thrill to hear it on the radio, in fact, you know, first time, that kind of thing. You know, what's this doing on the radio? <laughs> we have a single? You know, that's the way it felt. 